Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Emil Show. Hey everyone, it's me. I'm back for another podcast. We're doing it. We're doing it today. <laughs> Yippee! All right. So today I've had a great day. I've had the greatest day of all time. I've done fuck all. I've been listening to music. Found some cool music. This new uh, band that I found. Well, they're not new at all. New at all. But it's a band that I've been listening to now. It's fucking dope as hell. Uh, they're called uh, fucking. What are they called? They're called uh, Mortem. Mortem. It's a. Uh, it's some brutal death metal. I think their first album came out in like '93 or something. Uh, it doesn't really matter. They're cool. I think I'm enjoying what I'm hearing. You know, it feels like they understand me. You know, I get a sense of uh, they understand what I'm looking for in music. They. They they get me, dude. They know what I'm, they know what I want. It sounds it's like Cadmo Corpse with fucking Mortician or something. It's really cool and catchy, and uh, and I like them. Uh, happy about that. Uh, what else? Uh, today I've just been I've just been lounging. Really, I'm in a really good mood for some reason. You know, it's a good day to smile and laugh and have a good time, and. Uh, I just need to, I felt, you know, I've been, I have these periods, these moments of uh, uh, panic, I want to say almost, I just, I need to talk, or I I go on Twitter, it's uh, it's the thing, I go on there, and I'll, like, write a tweet, and then I get the instant urge to, like, uh, write another tweet, and then I realize, like, my fingers just won't stop writing, because, like, uh, I don't know, there's just constant, uh, retarded thoughts coming through so I need to like get them on somewhere but then I open up like I try to open up uh, like I have this program called pages it's basically like Microsoft uh, Word or whatever to to just write there instead but but I realize there's it's not like the same thing writing in a uh, in a big text document like it, it doesn't feel the same so I thought about it but I think this it's just something about the small text box I feel like on Twitter or like in a in a convers like in the text thing on like Discord or whatever or a text box on the phone or Instagram or whatever. It's like it's a tiny little box. So it, I just kind of want to fill it out. You know, you go you just write a little bit. And it's like I only need to fill in like another sentence to fill the box entirely. But then it just keeps going, and it just feels more natural to just keep writing. But I also think there's just some part of me that wants to talk to someone rather than just writing into a text document that only I am going to see, you know, maybe that's what it is as well. It's probably a big part of it, actually, probably the only part of it, really. I think I'm just trying to read too much into it. Uh, But I was looking at the empty text document, and then I thought to myself after writing like a few sentences of just nothing... I basically just wrote, like, well, I just tweeted instead because I just wrote, like, two sentences and then I was done. And so, that, you know, I kind of, my brain, I think it only works in, like, bursts. It's like I can only write, like, a paragraph at a time because I would, you know, I would write, like, a retarded paragraph of, like, I don't know, like, how I'm uh, having a good time and laughing to myself like a psycho or something and then I'll think of something else in like a few minutes or something but when I'm just talking like this like I do right now it just feels more natural to just uh speak well I don't know about natural there's nothing natural about talking to yourself actually that's also not right it's not natural to me because I don't really I don't really talk a lot to myself. I only do that if I'm recording something. And then sometimes I like think to myself, why am I not talking to myself more? And I think the only answer is because I listen to music or whatever all the time. I always have like a YouTube video playing. So like I wouldn't talk over it because I want to listen to it. I want to spend more time not just having stuff blasting in my ears. What if I try and... uh what if I try and just sit in silence for a while? But it's hard, man. Second I sit in silence. But that's why I should do what I'm doing right now. I need to just talk to myself rather than uh, 
you know, it's kind of like meditating. That's why that's so hard because you want to, I want to listen to music while I'm meditating, but that kind of defeats the purpose of meditating, you know. Well, I haven't tried meditating in like four years, but I used to try and meditate and then I, I got like bored of it and then I put on music. But I like I like listen to music. This like it's not really calm music. There's always vocals. There's always some I don't know like fast and heavy brutal music. You know, so it's not easy music to just let your mind go to. I mean, it can, but it's not gonna go in any meditative sort of way. It's just gonna be ah oh, yeah, this song is good or whatever. So trying to force myself into just sitting in silence which is really hard to do and I figured recording the podcast is a good way to force myself into just being in silence rather than something anything I watch so much garbage and I like I watch some good shit too but I but it's like I don't remember any of it because there's so much of it. So, like, I'm not even... Say, if I'm even watching, like, a documentary or something interesting, if I'm watching... Like, I, I listened to... Uh, like, it, it came out, like, four days ago. They started... Uh, I don't remember his name. It's some comedian called Shane something. I only, only watched it because uh, Louis C.K. was on it, and they talked about uh, all the presidents that's ever been... And they just talked about, like, the, their, I don't know, the stories of the guys, I guess. And, uh, I mean, I didn't think I would be interested in that, but it was really entertaining. And there's some cool shit that I didn't know about. Well, I don't know, I don't know fucking anything about anything, but it was really, it's really good. And, of course, it's funny, because you got two funny comedians. But, uh, why did I even bring that up? Oh, yeah, because that's, I guess that was an example of something good that I've been listening to, or like something that wasn't just retarded, I don't know, minute-long videos that just means nothing after I watched it, and just, just to fill up the emptiness of my life, because I just do nothing, and, uh, I believe, uh, me not letting myself sit with my own thoughts, like ever, is probably the reason I can't sleep at night. So that's that's why I'm doing this now. Yes. So now that I've at least gotten to the point where I realize I feel like I kind of need to do this. What else can I get out of that? Where else can I go? What else can I talk about? Except the reason why I'm doing it. Uh, I suppose it would wouldn't come to me that quickly. Well, I've been thinking of uh, I want to write something because I get the urge to write on Twitter so much. So I could spend my my time writing on Twitter, doing writing something else. Something that could lead to something. Something that's not just a retarded tweet that no one wants to see. Except myself. I just, like, I just write little retarded tweets to giggle to myself for a second. And then, and then that's it. And so I figure, what if I, like, write... You know, I need a reason to go outside. I need reasons to meet people and do stuff. At least I feel I do, because I don't have... I just have the job. I go to go to work, and I come home, and then I just sit and listen to music or whatever all day. So what if I had a reason to go further than to the shop to buy groceries or whatever? So what if I started writing, like, comedy? Like, uh, I like to think I'm at least somewhat funny, but I think most of... What makes me funny is uh, not really intended, but it also, I don't know, I just fucking, I don't know, I don't really understand myself sometimes. You know, talking out loud and not thinking of what I'm saying is really hard, and then the, posting that as a podcast, 
I would assume that most podcasts at least have like another person they're talking to, so they have like a conversation. Well, I'm just trying to talk to myself. I'm not Bill Burr <laughs> or uh, whoever else does a single man podcast. I think Bill Burr is the only one who's been able to do that. I don't really listen to his podcast, but I've listened to a lot. I've listened to some of it. He's funny. And uh, what I was trying to say is that I'm not funny. At least. Like, I I think I'm somewhat funny, but I don't think I'm uh, funny in the way that I can... uh, I don't know. I can't control when I'm funny. I guess is what I'm saying. I'm not a comedian. I'm, I'm just a, I'm just some fucking guy, dude. Uh, and and uh, I can make myself laugh sometimes, but that's I don't know. I guess I don't. I haven't reflected on this enough to uh, be able to talk about it. It seems. So let me not talk about that because it's kind of embarrassing. Uh. Oh uh, yeah, the reason I started talking about that is because I want to. What if I started trying to do stand-up comedy? Because no one who starts doing stand-up comedy is ever good at it the first time. At least that's what they they say. And uh, from what I've seen of stand-up com- comedy at like the local shows that I could go to in my town, it's like that. I'm not. <laughs> it's uh. I've been to some really terrible stand-up shows, but then, I mean, I'm not going to say it was all terrible. Some of them did did pretty well, and I laughed at a few jokes. I'm not gonna, I don't mean to sound, I don't mean to be mean to anyone, any one of them, ex- I mean, <laughs> as if they're going to hear me say this ever, but like, uh, no, they... It's just, uh, it's clearly an amateur show, is what I was trying to say. That sounds also mean. I don't know why I care if it sounds mean. It's the point, well, I care because I'm a nice guy, all right? It's just, I I would like to try it. But I also wouldn't like to try it because I get, I don't think I would be uh, able to do it. But then again, what the fuck do I, I just need something to, uh, I just need to go outside, really, I think it comes down to. But then I also want like an outlet for uh, all the writing that I feel like I want to do. But then writing uh, something that's supposed to be funny is also really hard. Which I should just do. And then afterwards. Yeah, I wish I like uh, thought of the sentence I was going to say before I say it. So maybe I should talk slower. But I can't like... I can't build sentences in my brain. That doesn't work. Because I don't really have, like, uh... My brain is not very visual. Or, uh, like... Yeah, that's a thing. You heard of, uh... What's that called? Again. I forget what it's called. Uh... Yeah, aphantasia. That's what it's called. It's like, uh... I learned about it, like, a few months ago. It's like you're, um, most people can visualize things in their brain, and I've never been able to do that. I realized after watching some YouTube video talking about it, it's apparently something they didn't know was a thing until like, I don't know, like five years ago. They started doing studies on it, and it's like, um, I guess I have aphantasia because I can't visualize anything in my brain. It's all just. That's the thing. I don't even know what goes on in my brain. It feels pretty. I feel pretty retarded when I talk to people who say they can visualize shit in their brain and whatever. And I try. I don't even know how my memory works because it's. I mean, I know like when I dream and stuff, it's all visual because I can wake up and be like, I know that I saw things, and stuff was in color and stuff there. But that doesn't happen. I can't do that when I'm awake. And just because I can't like recall I can't visualize a face or whatever so how do I even like how do I recognize my like my parents how do I recognize anyone's faces or friends you know how do I recognize faces if I can't visualize things 
that makes sense to me. But I guess it's just somewhere in my brain that I can't like uh, bring to the forefront or something. I'm clearly not a genius, but I know it's uh that's a thing. And uh, it was it's like realizing you're colorblind after living like that your whole life. Maybe not the same. No, I would say it's the same. I mean, obviously not the same, but uh, it's in the same vein of feelings. Because uh, I realize I must have missed out on a bunch of cool shit. I mean, I imagine it's cool as fuck being able to imagine shit in your brain. People like daydreaming and stuff. I always thought that was just... Uh, hyperbolic. Can I use that word there? I think I can. Hyperbolic is like the word for like over exaggerating something on purpose for like I don't know. I'll just Google the word. But uh I didn't know people literally saw shit in their brain until well yeah, the few months ago whenever I saw some YouTube video about that. So that's a cool thing, I think. I think that's pretty cool. That people can see stuff like that. And it, it also makes sense more that how people can formulate sentences and stuff so clearly before they talk. Well, I I kind of feel like... Uh, it might just be because I am retarded. But, like, uh, I can't formula... F formula for, no, I don't even know the word anymore. The word doesn't mean anything anymore. I don't know what I was trying to say. Let me think for... Try to think for a second. I can't... Uh, I can't, I can't form sentences and shit in my brain. I can only, like, think of... Maybe that's what this podcast is about, about me trying to figure out how my fucking brain works, because there's something wrong with it, I think. I don't know. Things just come out of my mouth, and I don't know how I ended up saying whatever comes out of my mouth, because it doesn't feel like there's anything really happening in there but if I like need a second to think it's like I'll think about it but then the I guess I can yeah like I can I can be quiet and then I can talk inside of my brain and like hear my voice in my brain but I can't think any further than that so if I go quiet it's just talking but without speaking out loud I can only think like by sound I guess at least that's how I feel it it, it works but maybe I just need to uh, spend less time online and uh, do more of this whatever this is whatever the fuck this is and just, uh, I should also take it slower, because I'm realizing I'm, like, running out of breath, because I talk more than I breathe. I'm realizing talking slowly is, because I don't really talk very much in general. So, talking to myself, I need to learn to uh, pace it more so that I can take breaths while I talk. These are things that I've never thought about or never thought that I would have to think about, you know? I'm not very smart. Uh, um thought about I've been th yeah I've just been thinking about writing but what would I even write about but then again I, I guess I just gotta write and figure out what I would write by writing and uh, yeah I guess that's as far as I've gotten in that and uh, 
all that I'm thinking of is just like the last things that I thought that I was talking about anywhere. Like it's all my thoughts are just stuff that's been I've just been seeing, like on Twitter or if I if I've seen something written down, I'll just think of that, and then whatever next comes out of my brain is like just related to that thing, or just like a word from that sentence forms a different sentence, man, I'm just saying nothing, I'm just trying to make sense of what's, how, how thinking works, because I clearly don't know how to think, man, I should not upload this, but I'm going to, no one's going to watch, yeah, no one's going to listen to 20 minutes of this anyway, so what's the, what's the problem, there's no problem in me uploading it, because no one's going to listen to it anyway. It's just like this is a good outlet for me to just uh, say whatever. It's great. As as you know, we need more podcasts. There's not enough podcasters out there. You know, just, I probably said that in the other podcast too, because that's like because uh, there's a lot of podcasts, and uh, I wrote podcast on this image. So right now I'm just staring at the image right here, and it says Emil Podcast right there. So anything related to podcast is just coming up in my brain. So that's probably something that I said in the other one too, because I must have read the word podcast. That's just an assumption, though, from how I understand my brain works. So this this episode is uh, dedicated to... Uh, brain research maybe I should research stuff for the episode I should watch like a video or something like a documentary on something I can talk about that but then again I'm not good at creating original thoughts or at least not thoughts on things it's just uh Yeah, this is, this is the worst podcast of all time. Next episode, I'm going to have a guest on. Uh, and we're going to make a podcast. It's going to be a good episode. And we're going to talk about... Uh, illegal things. See you then.